Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Glacier Rain Artisan Water. Next up is Aspen Pure Probiotic Water. Now both of these waters I bought several months ago on my trip to Utah. I went there with my family um, just in the middle of the summer. And I got this one from the Fresh Market in Park City. And I got this one from Maverick Convenience Store in Salt Lake City. And the thing that these two have in common is they're both Rocky Mountain water. This is supposed to be from deep inside the Rocky Mountains and it's artisan water. This is supposed to be uh, Rocky Mountain water with probiotics added to it. Um, it says it has 10 billion probiotics uh, per serving and there, there's three servings in this bottle. I'm not 100% sure what a probiotic is, but it's supposed to help with your gut. It's supposed to help with your stomach, your intestines. It's supposed to help you digest stuff. Here, let's see what Google says. What is a probiotic? According to Wikipedia, probiotics are live microorganisms intended to provide health benefits when consumed, generally by improving or restoring the gut flora. Okay, so this has 10 billion per serving, so 30 billion microorganisms are about to go into my body. Um, that's probably an estimate. I'm sure, I'm sure they're not counting out 10 billion per serving, obviously. This water also helps out some kind of charity. They are partnered with waterislife.com. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm not sure if a percentage of each bottle goes to that charity. I don't really know. I don't, like, <clears throat> I, don't have any, I don't have any notes in front of me right now. I'm just going off the top of my head. Normally I shoot this these reviews in my room. I'm just mixing it up and doing it out here today. My roommate Dawn lives right here. Normally I just shoot them in my room because I want some privacy. I don't want to be talking loud and annoying Dawn. But uh, Dawn's um, on a little road trip for a couple days, so I'm just mixing it up and doing it out here. But I don't have any notes to tell me like information about these. So let's just open these up and do a taste test and I'm gonna decide which one tastes better. Let's move on to round two. These are both weird sizes. This is 591 milliliters. This one is 709 milliliters. Which are both like odd numbers, you know? Yeah. Normally like Normally, 500 milliliters 500 is like a standard, standard size, standard but it's weird size. having those odd numbers. These are both pretty thick, thick plastic. Really good. If you look inside of it, you can see the, it's a double-sided label also. So it has like pictures of uh, stuff on the inside. All right, here we go. No smell. The reason I wanted to stop by Maverick convenience store was to get the Chuck Norris water. Because I know they sell the Chuck Norris water at Maverick grocery store. And I already reviewed that in a previous video. I reviewed it earlier. And I just happened to see this and wanted to pick it up. It's where they call it Glacier Rain. Because it's, it says it's water from deep, deep inside the glacier. So is it rainwater or is it water from deep, 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 deep inside? Or does the rain flow into the glacier and then it becomes deep inside and they take it out? I don't really know, but it's kind of a weird name. Sort of a heavier water. No strong aftertaste to it. Let's try the Aspen Pure. Aspen. The website says the probiotics can last several years so even though I bought this a couple of months ago they should still be perfectly good no smell really no taste to it at all I was kind of expecting some kind of a maybe a sweet taste or some kind of taste because of the probiotics I don't remember what I paid for either of these either it was several months ago I didn't save the receipts no flavor no taste this is like a light tasting water this is like a heavier one this one says it has a balanced pH level. This one, I don't see anything about its pH level. So I'm going to measure the pH level. Here we go. All right, here's their pH number. I'm colorblind, so I'm going to let you guys decide on your own what pH number you think they match up with on the chart. It's Glacier Rain on the left, Aspen Pure on the right. What do you think they are? Leave a comment letting me know. Both of these have zero everything. They both have zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero fat, zero sodium, just zeros across the board. This is an artisan water. What is an artisan water? 
According to Wikipedia, an aquifer is a geologic layer of porous and permeable materials such as sand and gravel, limestone, or sandstone, through which water flows and is stored. Okay, that's what it says for an order of water. So there you go. I really had low expectations for this one because it was like from a, a gas station, really. A convenience store, but also just a gas station. And I, I'm not 100% sure... But I think this was a pretty cheap water, too. Um, it was pretty good tasting. These are both pretty good. The best way of describing it is like, this is like a lighter, lighter water, maybe a little bit warmer and lighter. And this one feels a little bit colder, a little bit heavier. So this is like a tough one. It's kind of just like what I'm in the mood for, really. There's no like clear winner. All right, I'm just gonna say that the glacier rainwater is a tiny bit better. Oh, man, it's close. It's uh, it's really close. If I was like a millionaire, if I had a huge water budget, I would love to buy like several cases of this probiotic water and drink it for like an entire month and see if it affects my gut health. Cause I don't think one bottle is gonna do that much for me. But I wonder, excuse me. I wonder if I did it for a month or a year, if I would notice a difference in my digestion and my, uh, you know, processing of foods. Um, yeah, Dawn's a great roommate, but it's nice having a little bit of time to myself. Um, you know, he's a 75-year-old guy, so he's retired. And he's home pretty much all the time. He's a great roommate, but he's just, he's here all the time. And it's just nice to uh, have the place to myself for the weekend. Um, yesterday I did some Black Friday shopping and I bought this little toy. And I thought, since I ever have the camera out, I would just uh, mess around with it a little bit. Here we go. It's stuck up there. <laughs> One of the blades is caught in the ceiling tile. It's not perfect. There's a lot of like more expensive versions that are better and uh, automatically detect stuff around them, stuff like that. But for thirty bucks. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. And again, I got this yesterday, so I haven't really had time to mess around with it that much.
it's probably gonna be broken pretty soon.